Hello everybody, my name is Frosty Mate. welcome back to a brand new Adventure Quest Worlds video. Now today in this video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about what I'm hoping to see in Adventure Quest 2D slash Adventure Quest Mobile. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a video right here and in the description below talking about Adventure Quest Worlds and Adventure Quest Mobile. It's essentially Adventure Quest Worlds uses Adobe Flash, which has been terminated in 2020, the end of 2020, so this year. So the guys at Arctic Entertainment have to essentially uh, go over and do a different software to continue to create this game. So if you guys don't know what about what it is all about, go and check out my video in the description below. Um, but yeah, this video is going to be just me rambling about the things I'm hoping to see in Adventure Quest Mobiles can, because, you know, they're going to have a different software. So that means that hopefully the developers will be able to do a lot with this game. If you've been playing this game for a little while, you'll know that actually this game has been very stale for quite a long time with like content wise. I mean, the storyline and that is okay. Uh, the yearly Nolgarth and Dage birthday stuff is cool and that, but actually like proper enhancements and development of this game has been very stale for the past, I don't know, five, six years. So I've got a big old list here of all the stuff I'm going to be talking about. So without further ado, let me just move this out of the way. Yeah, let's get into what I'm hoping to see in Adventure Quest Worlds mobile slash adventure quest 2d so the first thing that i really would really love to see is actually no bots or glitches i mean some people would be thinking why the hell do you not want to see this in the game it's just you know if you have bots in the game it just ruins people's uh, mindset of what they want to achieve in the game because you know you could be essentially just botting absolutely everything where people want to play the game legit but it's taking them such a lot longer time to get that instead of just you know going on a program and using a program to get everything you know like it's, it's cheating you don't want there to be cheats in the game especially like in adventure quest worlds where literally everybody does it loads so many people do it and to be honest i don't think they even get banned hard half the time and so many people just use bots and it just ruins the game experience for the people who do want to play legit because they start thinking oh if everybody else is botting maybe i should just bot and it's the same with glitches like glitches should be patched very early on and not be in the game for like seven eight nine years it's just for me it's if you get used to using glitches and stuff you're going to really struggle when the when the new game comes out and you can't you know use glitches anymore because you're going to be playing the game normally you're going to be playing the game legit and yeah it's just going to be difficult for you guys to be able to play the game properly because you're not used to uh, really slow spawn rates stacking uh, quest glitches and all that sort of thing and just have a proper game experience because that way if there's no bots and no glitches you can tell who are the real farmers dude you can tell who are the ones that are grafting and grinding out and essentially who are like the best farmers and the best players in the game if you have glitches and bots it's hard to tell if people actually play legit or not because every time i see a person that has like all um reputations rank 10 uh ungodly reavers and their non-member and they got a Sky Guard members only ha um, hairstyle and they're non-members. You can only just think that they're botting or they haven't played the game legit. So I think having no bots and no glitches in the game, yeah, it, it would just be good. So the next point that I want to talk about is something that's been in the game for, I think, since 2009, which is player versus player. Now, essentially, player versus player was really cool back in the PTR. It seems really promising. I mean, they added 1v1 since the Blood Rock Brawl, as you can see here. I don't think anybody uses the queue time like this to actually go into a Blood Rock Brawl anymore. You know, that was implemented in the game. And nobody, I, I reckon there's some people that play now that don't even know about it, dude. So I think having that adjusted and rearranged, I think also being able to play competitive player versus player with rank rewards, um, placement matches, bannable classes, and yeah, just a, a tier of maybe gold, silver, platinum, you know, all that sort of thing, because I think that would uh, engage people to play player versus player a lot more than what they do at the moment. I don't think there's any real benefit to playing player versus player apart from if you need combat trophies. I don't think it's actually that fun at the moment because if you have a really OP class like Lightcaster, Void High Lord, Legion Revenant, you're literally just going to get two or three shot even if you have like the best amulet in the game. So I'm hoping that they're going to be able to do some form of competitive player versus player where you have maybe a 4v4, 8v8 and you have a ranked mode, a casual mode, but in the ranked mode you get to possibly 
compete for rewards, maybe even adventure coins or something like that, Arctic points if you get like top 100, have your different placement matches, go up in the leaderboards, have bannable classes, all that sort of thing, that's what I'm hoping that possibly we can get in the new Adventure Quest World slash Adventure Quest 2D. Okay, on my next one would is to have proper guilds, you know. I think with guilds especially, it's just they haven't done anything with guilds at all. And what I mean by that is they've implemented guilds, they've made the slots go up to 100 slots or, you know, placements for people to join a guild. But apart from that, there's nothing you can do, you know, they have no settlement, there's no like guild area, I don't believe, there's no ground, uh, guild wars, there's nothing to do apart from being in a community of your own in a in a guild. I s I'm pretty sure that is the only thing that you are there for is just to have people to play with, which isn't a bad thing, but they could implement that so much more than what they have already, and they just haven't done anything with it. Once again, guilds have been in for a very long time. And they've sort of just put it in the game and haven't done anything with it since. So I'm talking like have your own little settlement. If you've played games like um, like some strategy mobile games or idle mobile games, you'll, you'll find that there's um, a guild that you join and then your guild has its own little like castle or something like that. Then you can do idle missions where you have to wait eight hours to complete a mission, but it does it automatically. And then once you've turned that in, you get some uh, guild tokens. Uh, you have like a guild boss that you'd have to defeat every day. Uh, guild raids, guild wars against other guilds where you can place for rewards in player versus player. So many things guys and they just haven't implemented anything. So I think also that would be very nice to have a guild facility and just develop the guild scene. I mean I've barely ever been in a guild in Adventure Quest Worlds, maybe one or two guilds in my entire like career of Adventure Quest Worlds. I don't really see the point in them because yeah, there's no real benefit. Now this is something that I really, I really, really hope that uh, Adventure Quest Worlds and Arctic Entertainment put into the game. And it's going to be dungeons and raids, like proper, proper dungeons, man. So we're talking like, uh, a, like maybe meta and strategy to actually defeat these monsters you have like a group finder for like four to eight players possibly then you go into a proper map proper monsters no glitches you know no nothing stupid to uh, enhance your gameplay and make it quicker you actually have to sit there grind it out and I wanted them to be like proper 15 20 minute dungeons you know where you have to clear all the monsters in the room then you have to go into the next room clear them all out kill four or five different bosses then kill the main boss at the end but the boss will have like um similar sort of strategies to Asherion and the ledger main chaos boss where you sort of either have to run to the portals or the pads so and if you don't you get hit massive damage all that sort of thing like a proper dungeon that you'd, you'd see in a, a actual MMO game like World of Warcraft. Raids as well. Like imagine having a raid where, where you group up with 10 people and you go to this insane map. You do this massive raid with all your friends. And then at the end, the, the last boss has a chance to drop some sort of legendary item or something. And you just keep grinding and grinding and grinding that. And then when it finally drops, you'll feel so accomplished. But imagine just having guild fights dungeons, raids, just all that sort of thing, you know, and there's just nothing like that in this game, man. There's no dungeons and no raids, you know, there's just nothing that you can get. And obviously, like, the rewards from the dungeons and the raids would be awesome, and it would just look absolutely insane. Um, so, yeah, that's something that I really hope that they implement into Adventure Quest 2D slash Adventure Quest Mobile. Next up on the list, mounts, dude. So they have, like, um, in Adventure Quest 3D, they have travel forms where you actually turn into the actual mount. But I I'd love it if they had mounts on this game where you could actually equip it over your armor so they do have some form of mounts like not really like the griffin rider so the bright griffin rider so they have stuff like this right where you see your character on a griffin and it'll like jump around and stuff but you can't change the armor you can change the weapon the cape and the helmet but not the actual armor but i think it would be so cool to have mounts in this game once again like legendary rarities or one percent drop chance rarities for specific mounts and stuff i just like pets as well like pets have literally no purpose apart from if they're a battle pet or like a bank pet obviously like a quest pet but they don't do anything you know um you can't feed them you can't evolve them develop them they don't help you battle 
and if they do that's only if with certain classes like for me like having a pet just say like this nogoth larvae pet didn't have a quest like what's the point in it you know um i feel like they need to implement some sort of pet system as well and one of the main things that i wish and i hope for is trading you know trading in adventure quest world slash adventure quest 2d slash mobile sorry it's just going to be a massive game changer like what mmo do you know that does not have trading i can't think of any other mmos that don't actually implement trading why does this game not have trading i don't understand i don't understand what the issue is most of the stuff in this game is cosmetic anyway so it doesn't even matter it's not like you're trading the best item in the game to a level one because at the end of the day they're still only a level one it's not going to be massively important to them anyway i just don't understand why they don't have trading in this game so i'd definitely like it for them to have trading in adventure quest world slash adventure quest sorry adventure quest 2d slash adventure quest mobile yeah and the last thing that i guess that they could do is potentially have more abilities in classes like i don't know if anybody else finds it a bit annoying but only having like four main abilities for a class is just kind of like it's not very engaging when you're doing a boss fight or you're killing monsters and stuff because i know that with this game nowadays anyway if you equip shaman or something like that you can basically one hit normal mobs which is fine but when it, if they do raids if they do dungeons it'll be just nice to maybe have like another set of skills at the top and just to like to be able to feel like more of an MMO uh, than what it is currently. Or maybe just being able to like customize the class. So with actually like the ranks, when you get to like rank 10, you have a choice of uh, either having this one burnt by light or maybe there'd be another one that you could select or like a skill tree or something like that i don't know but yeah these are just all the sort of things i was thinking about and there's probably so many more things that they could implement into adventure quest world slash adventure quest 2d i just hope that they do it because honestly I i'm gonna kind of be a bit disappointed if they release this brand new sort of game with this brand new engine and they just don't develop anything obviously they want to continue to develop this game because it's their most popular game so i'm pretty sure that they will do stuff like this but the main thing for me i love doing player versus versus enemy or player versus uh, everything or whatever it's called pve i just love doing pve stuff and yeah this stuff's got loads of pve this game's got loads of pve in the mo at the moment but honestly if they just made it more engaging with dungeons raids and all that sort of thing i'd love just to be able to like make content on that and just live stream it fans and viewers and stuff just to be able to like graft out like five hours of dungeons and in hopes to get one of the best items in the game or something like that stuff sounds awesome but only if they get rid of glitches bots and exploits essentially but anyway guys that was enough rambling from me i'm hoping that you guys agree with what i've said or definitely let me know what you would like to see in adventure quest mobile slash adventure quest 2d we should be seeing a beta or slash alpha sorry launch in april this year so i'm definitely going to be creating content on that but guys i hope you enjoyed this video definitely let me know in the comment section what you would love to see in adventure quest 2d slash adventure quest mobile thank you so much for watching if you're new make sure you subscribe like the video and i'll see you in the next video take care